Welcome to Eric and Horror Stories. Eric speaking, and hey, it's been a minute again. Seems like my path is now doing unboxing videos, which I'm cool with. I'm not buying as much stuff this year, I say, as I've bought four things already, but you know, I got a lot of stuff to show, maybe from previous years too, and maybe I'll do some other silly videos. Who knows? Um, this video is not about them, but these two gargoyles, super cool. Um, they came from at-home stores. I don't know if they still have any anywhere. I, my understanding is they were pretty popular. At home. Yeah, I haven't been there really much before. I thought of them for whatever reason as too expensive. But they're really not that bad. I mean, these things are heavy, solid, nice-looking decorations. Um, I really like them. I probably didn't need to buy two of them, but it's a gargoyle. Can you just have one gargoyle? It's hard to say gargoyle. The more I say gargoyle, I feel like I'm drunk. But, um, yeah, just wanted to show these off real quick. They're very nice if you like them. I think they were like 120 bucks each. But they're very big, nice props. At home has a lot of cool stuff. If you're into inflatables, they have some really good inflatables. They just have all kinds of stuff, and their prices aren't that bad. So, my understanding is their Halloween stuff's already going. Go check them out. Home Goods was really good. Home, really good. And Michaels, this might be their best year ever. Super impressed with the one Michaels locally that had everything set out. Yeah, you could spend a fortune in there this year. Really good stuff. But anyway, you're not here for that today, uh, the three of you that are here. You're here for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and here's your invitation to come join Leatherface. That's actually a song, I believe, on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 soundtrack, which I wore out when I was a lot younger, and I've never even seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. So, that song, fantastic. Sounds just like I sang. But let's get Leatherface over here, and we'll talk more about him. Okay, just one gargoyle now, and Mr. Leatherface has joined us. Um, as far as I know, Leatherface went live on the Spirit website on Thursday, and I bought him then, and I'm filming this on Saturday, and he's here two days later. That's crazy. I didn't know. Never seen anything ship from Spirit so fast, so maybe they're rocking it out like that this year. I don't know. Spirit's flagship store in New Jersey just opened today. There were like thousands of people there to go to the first open Spirit so that's pretty cool. It looked like insanity, though. I can't imagine. Thanthity. It looked like insanity. It's hot. I think it had been storming up there some. Those people, man. I thought I was Halloween crazy. I don't know if I'm that crazy. Good on you, though. So, yeah. Anyway, back to Leatherface. There's three of these suckers this year. Lowe's has one. Party City has one. And Spirit has one. Spirit is the only one using the Pretty Woman design. Walking down the street, pretty woman. He'll cut off your feet, pretty woman. The other two, uh, did I just say this? Wear the killing machine outfit. Killing machine. Kill, the leather face killing outfit. It has like the yellow apron. And it's a different mask. And it's a chainsaw still. But Lowe's came out first. Lowe's seems to be consensus the worst of the three. He just looks a little cheaper. And probably as expensive as the other two this one's the second one that's actually available to buy as far as i know and i just really liked it like i said i like the pretty woman the chain moves on this one my understanding is the chain does not move on the other two i did see a preview of the party city one i do like it a lot even though it's the killing outfit and i'm a little torn did i buy this one too fast the party city one is a completely different motion than the other two uh, where the other two do this kind of hula thing with the chainsaw. Party Cities does this. But it also is kind of jerky like that. And it shakes. And I'm a kind of... I'm a, I'm a kind of afraid the prop would break a... Although any animatronic's in danger of that. So, you know, who knows? I might end up sending this back um, once I see the Party City one in person. I'm going to try to. Maybe I'll end up with two leather faces. I don't think so, though. I mean, you could put the apron and the killing machine mask on this i'm pretty sure and it would look fine i'm sure this coat comes off but we'll find out in a minute anyway leatherface is 350 dollars however you can get a 20 dollar 20 dollar this is great great diction today great words great everything 
you can get a 20% off coupon as you can for most spirit things, which knocks a good portion of it off. People kind of forget that when they talk about the prices, but the prices do go up every year. This does not look bad though. I have high hopes for it. And they even made the box look a little better. It's not your standard just black spirit box. I like that. I like some effort. Let's start opening the sucker up before he opens us up. First three things out of the box. Um, the instructions. The outfit, which is pretty weighty. I'm surprised. Uh -huh. it seems to be pretty, pretty good quality. And I think you can probably take the coat off and put a different outfit on if you wish. And it shouldn't be too hard to find a yellow apron. Just as it wouldn't be hard to find something from Goodwill that would fit the other leather face if you buy one of the other two. And here's the head. Has a nice hairnet on in case he wants to do any high school cafeteria food preparation. It looks pretty good. I have the Trick or Treat Studios Pretty Woman mask, which maybe I'll bring in in a minute, which is a fantastic mask. My initial impression is it looks pretty good, and this is not adhered, as far as I can tell, to this head. So you could indeed, it looks like, put a different mask on, which is pretty cool. That excites me. That would make, honestly, this animatronic the same as the other two, other, other than the motion of the chainsaw, which you have this or this. Let's um, let's get some more out of here, and I'll also go grab that other mask to compare. Okay, so I pretty much got everything else out of the box. Um, did have to lay the box down and pull the rest out. It was, I think that's how it's designed to get out of there. Anyway, let's look real quick. Comparison. This is Trick or Treat Studios uh, Leatherface mask. They also have the Kill mask and. They have other Texas Chainsaw masks, but it's not bad. Spirits is not bad. You gotta keep in mind the Trick or Treat Studios mask is like a $50 mask, so just the mask thing itself on here, I'm impressed with. I haven't seen the hair yet, but that's not bad. I, and I like, again, that it's actually a mask on top of this. I don't think it's adhered to it. Also, if anyone's interested, I made this mask, mask. I made this mask stand myself. Um, was not hard to make, very uh, budget friendly. You could buy mask stands online and you could pay a decent amount for them. Um, does, it, does it look like a super professional $100 mask stand? No, but it does the job and definitely, to me, looks good. I can do a quick tutorial on that in the future. Uh, let's look real quick at what else came out of the box. Here is, of course, Leatherface's defining item, the chainsaw. It's actually bigger than I thought it would be. That's what she said. It's also got some blood spatter on there. Hopefully she didn't say that. This is, <laughs> this is not bad. Um, I felt like it would be kind of small and, and feel kind of cheap just because animatronic can only hold so much weight you know they're they're not these things are not designed to be able to hold a lot of weight it would snap but this is this is nice and solid i'm liking this and the chain the chain is going to move so um he has his boot scooting boogie shoes so he can do the electric slide here's his hands i have heard people bag on the hands i don't immediately see a problem with them i believe they may be either too big or too small but we'll find out I know people were making fun of like the videos and stuff the way the hands look that's a very minor complaint and then you have all the this is leg forms and honestly it's not too many pieces this is zip tied but you see the main main part of the body there and the base is zip tied together so I will have to take care of that but Let's get the base and a little bit of stuff on there and we will, I'll start assembling this and we'll go along and see, see what we got. Here's the base with his shoes and his legs on. The back foot's a little wonky, but I don't think you're ever gonna really see the back foot. Maybe I don't have it on there exactly right. There's Mr. Hyde who has to show his stinky face in every video, but Honestly, it looks like this is gonna be pretty easy to assemble, which I like. Some of the, I tried to assemble the Red Reaper for Home Depot last year, and 
Boy, that was a nightmare. And then it turns out he's eight feet tall. And I was like, well, I have eight feet ceilings. His head will be a little, it'll just be right up against it. No, my ceilings are like 7'10 or something. So that was wonderful. Can't even put him in my house. Leatherface is supposed to be six feet tall. So he should fit just fine. All right, Leatherface was a big boy and he let me put his pants on him. I'm a little concerned I put the wrong leg on each side. Be and it's really hard to tell from the instructions which one goes where. It's not, it's not labeled and I guess we'll find out the further I build this up if it's right or not. But I will say I'm impressed with the quality of this. Like the pants, they have a lining inside of them to make it more difficult for these the the metal parts to pop through them. And I haven't I don't know that I've seen that before. It is their stuff is more expensive this year, but in this case I'm impressed with the quality. Like I said, the mask on this is good. Um, the outfit looks good. I feel like this may be justified with the higher price if they made it more quality. Um, there's there's some pretty decent props coming out this year. Anyway, I'm going to fool with this for a minute, make sure I have the legs on correctly, and we'll we'll get started with where the midsection. I haven't gone much further. I put this middle section on, and it wasn't fun. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but I had a tough time. At first, I thought, well, I have. I did reverse the legs, you know, so I took them off and put them back on. But this had the same problem no matter how I tried to attach the legs. In fact. I switched the legs a couple of times and it's just difficult to get this to attach. Almost feels like you're gonna break it, which I hate. I hate that feeling. I certainly don't wanna break it. And plus, the legs push in because this fabric is so, I don't know, so solid that that wasn't helping either. But I eventually got it on there, attached these two extra pieces. So we're clipping on along. Just beware if you get this that it will be a little frustrating probably to put this on or if you're smarter than me, no problem. Still, minor complaint, but I don't know if you could break something trying to put this on, but I was nervous about it. It's a little disturbing looking, isn't it? Um, so yeah, it has this dad bod form. You put it on before you do the uh, rest of the costume, which I know how you feel, Leatherface. Believe me, I've been eating at your uh, gas station too much, but. This will make it a lot more solid looking. One of the worst things about animatronics, and this one seems to be doing good with that, is you know how the clothes will just taper in because there's really nothing under them but these small metal bars. And so it looks, it doesn't look good. In this case, I think they've beefed it up a little. So hopefully it won't have that problem. Anyway, kind of looks like Mr. Potato Torso, but we're going to move on. He does have a little wobble on his stand. Well, that's not so bad now. He, he does wobble just a little. Um, that might be my floor. But as you can see, did you notice the Easter egg of my hat being on and off? He's 30, he's 50, he's 30, he's 50. It's fantastic. Anyway, as you can see, I have his clothing on up here now. His jacket and shirt are one piece. You cannot remove one without removing the other, which is good to know for the apron. Uh, you could just get a regular shirt though with an apron. I don't think you'd have to keep this whole ensemble. You could just take the jacket off. So jacket off if you want to. I mean, that's okay with me. All right, um, this is secure in the back. The pants do look a little weird. They're a little bunchy after I just said that about how fabric looks on animatronics. But I think once he has the chainsaw and stuff, you won't really notice. So let's attach some limbs and stiff. I think he's mostly where he needs to be. Uh, in the instructions, his hands aren't this close together, but that's how they went. So I need to do a little bit of sprucing up with how the styrofoam's fitting on him. I actually had a devil of a time getting the tie on him, but don't worry, Bubba. I have a tough time uh, putting ties on myself. I still have to use YouTube. The head literally just sits down in the thing. It's not connected to anything. Still not sure about these pants. Maybe they can go up a little, excuse me, maybe they can go up a little higher. Um, but the mechanism's in there, and I certainly don't want them getting caught in that. So, uh, we're about to give him a chainsaw. Pack a chainsaw, he'll skin your ass raw. Let's move on. Okay, I think the chainsaw's on here correctly. It velcros to this hand. 
which is where the wire is for the chain to spin. And then it has a little, I don't know, black circle you put this handle in. It doesn't go in there very far and the entire hand's cut out. So I have a feeling I may not have it on there right. Um, I'll check it. I'll, I'll run test run it before I show you if I'm an idiot or not. More of an idiot than you already know I am. I can kind of see what they mean about the hands. This one looks good. This one, because of the way it has to hold the saw, like this is all one piece, like it's thumb and his other hand, like there's no, there's no gap here. But you could probably paint it to look a little better. I mean, it's functional. That's the reason it's like that. And I mean, it's not the greatest looking, but I don't see how they could make it look different. It's not that bad. People nitpick. Also, they have these two final parts, and I wasn't sure what these are. They're sandbags, which that's very cool that they included these. I'll probably just put a couple weights on him for now, but they give you a couple sandbags to make sure he doesn't fall on his chainsaw and hurt himself. So I will be back momentarily. We'll fix his hair. We'll get his hair dead. We'll, we'll get this thing running so you can see what it looks like. So, uh, one thing I noticed is I did not have this in there all the way, and he was almost gonna, going to drop it, but I figured out. You just had to kind of jostle his hand a little bit to get it in there. So, all right, he's complete. He works. I really do like him a lot. I will say the motion's a little strange, especially since he just keeps doing that motion, but, I mean, in the dark, in the right place, fog or whatever, it's... I'd say it's pretty freaky. Party Cities again does this. And I don't recall it doing much else. He holds it up, which is cool. He does that in the movie. He also does a bunch of, you know, razzmatazz. So, yeah, I think there's a lot to like about this. Uh, from the mask, which apparently completely can come off, to the clothes, which are actually pretty, pretty good quality. I mean, this looks real. This looks like a real shirt. I mean, when you're all the way up on it, yeah, you can tell it's not like real real but no this is a good looking prop they made it stable um the sound i don't know the sound is is good and i, I think party city did a better job with the sounds theirs makes too it makes a lot more sounds and it sounds directly from the movie is there the sound isn't the best but i know there's ways you can mess around and make that better chainsaw looks great the motion looks great no issues with the chainsaw whatsoever his legs may look a little weird in his stance, but honestly, with what he's doing, you can't really see that. So, overall, I think this is a great prop. I am not sad I bought it. I may end up liking the Party City one a lot, but given that I am a fan of the pretty woman, and you are a pretty, pretty lady, uh, I think I made a good choice. So, I will definitely be keeping him. He's much better than the Freddy Krueger that's been out that just does that, and his face is static and a lot of the more recent animatronics that are cheaper in previous years. This one is a vast improvement, so I'm excited to see that. I do have another animatronic from Home Depot, a new one that I'm particularly, particularly excited about, and I'll do a video on that soon. For now, though, his eyes look great, too. He has good eyes. You have, you have pretty eyes. Pretty, pretty lady. All right, that's it for Leatherface. I will see you next time on Eric and Horror Stories. Goodbye. It's, uh, two. No, I ordered him on Thursday. I'm an idiot. I don't know what day it is. Gargoyle, hit me, gargoyle, hit me.